Hello all you tall ones and welcome to Dungeon Dives. Let's get on our hazmat suits and prepare ourselves as we venture into Gnome Regan. First off, let's talk about the Alliance quests. In Stormwind, you can talk to this gnome in the Dwarven District to get the Gyrodramatic Excavationators, and this has you picking up items off of the trash mobs within the instance. Head on over to Iron Forge and make your way to Tinkertown for the majority of the quests. This place just cracks me up because it has all these giant gears, and in reality, this area would be so goddamn loud. What? Sorry, I, I can't hear you. Who do you want me to kill? First, we have Save Techbot's Brain from Take Master Overspark. Next, you can pick up Essential Artificials from Clockmort Spanner Span. Then, Data Rescue from Master Mechanic Castpipe, and finally, the Grand Betrayal from Mechatork himself. The last Alliance specific quest has you going over to Karanos. And if you're coming from Ironforge, it's the first house on the right. You'll first need to do Null Gain from Ozil Tigglevolt. Then you have to run on over to Nomorgon and use the quest item on a trog when his hand is glowing green. Then go back to your boy Tigglevolt and accept the only cure is more green glow. Okay, alliance part done, let's move over to the inferior faction. You'll start out in Orgrimmar and head on over to where the engineering trainer is. First, you'll pick up Rig Wars, which is just the exact same as the Grand Betrayal for the Alliance. Platinum! Holy f- What do you want? If I'm Horde, how the hell do you expect me to get to Normorgon? Oh, well, uh, I'm glad you asked. Talk to the other goblin in the engineering building and walk on over to Ratchet and then take the boat to Booty Bay. Here, you can talk to another goblin and he'll give you the item required to take the teleporter to Normorgon. Alright, here we go! Holy sh! As you can see, this place is huge, really huge. Nomergon is larger than any other dungeon around this level range, and there's a lot to do, so let's get started. For the Alliance, head straight forward into the circular room, and Techbot is waiting for you on the left. Kill him for the Saving Techbot's brain quest. Also, you should kill mobs here until you get the white punch card. This is for the Prismatic Punch Card quest, and you can interact with one of the machines here to get the yellow one. You'll be upgrading this multiple times during the run, so hold on to it. Go back to where the fork in the road is originally and go in the other direction. Horde practically take the teleporter and end up right in the front of the entrance portal, so you don't really need to worry. A notable class you might want to bring is a mage or a warlock. There are areas within this dungeon filled with non-elite gnomes where some AoE could be beneficial. Having a polymorph or some other form of CC is a must too. It's not a class, but an engineer will love this dungeon. There's a whole bunch of blueprints to collect and engineering supplies for their gizmos. Welcome to Nomergon. Head forward and turn left. Turn left again to the next corridor to kill Grebulus. This is a scenario where waves of trogs run through the caves and kill you. It takes around 6 minutes and 30 seconds for this event to finish, but it's also possible for the last boss not to drop the one piece of loot that he has. For this reason, some groups might not consider even doing this part because it's kind of a waste of time, and you can skip it if you'd like. Head back out and turn left and keep going around the perimeter. And when you reach the dormitory doorway, head right. This is filled with a bunch of gnome guards and there's even a vendor and a mailbox. They're all friendly to the Alliance, but for some reason they're hostile to the Horde. Hey guys, what's up? Just, you know, a Horde player here and I'm here to save your city just out of the goodness of my heart, you know? Just, you know, I'm just tired of this war and you know what? I think you gnome guys are... <laughs> Later in the dungeon, you'll get a grime encrusted ring from one of the Dark Iron Dwarves. This will start a quest, and you'll need to use it in the Sparklematic machine. When you clean it up, you'll get a brilliant gold ring, and you have the choice to either keep it or turn in the quest, so it's kind of just a giant Lord of the Rings reference. I'll tell you where you need to turn it in once we've finished the dungeon. Alright then, keep your secrets. You can also find grime-encrusted objects off the trash mobs, and pay a measly three silver to clean them up. This is sort of like a gambling game where you have a chance to get great items like... a rough stone a smooth pebble, or even coal. There is a chance to get a quote-unquote valuable item, but it's not really worth it in the slightest. 
Walk into the next room. Alliance, you'll need to interact with one of the punch card machines to get your blue punch card. Both factions can do the fine mess escort quest, and you can find a goblin in one of the little rooms to the very right. This is a unique escort quest where he follows you instead of following him, so it's much easier compared to other escort quests. Destroy the child. Corrupt them all. Take him all the way up back to the entrance of the dungeon and you're done with it. Turn back around and let's take a shortcut this time. Jump down onto the large gear below. The mobs can't hurt you while you're here so you can heal up before you drop to the ground. Alliance players will need to take a sample of these slimes using the quest item for the green glow quest. There's also a boss here who is super easy and drops a staff, a dagger, and some cloth boots. Walk down the next hallway filled with gnomes. These machines here are needed for the Essential Artificials Alliance quest, so grab them if you need them. In these hallways, really make sure you're sticking to the left, because if you stand too close to the right, you can aggro mobs in the lower base and probably wipe your group. When you reach the next room, go right and head up to the main platform. This boss is Electrocutionator 6000 and he has a chain lightning effect and a frontal cone spell, so stay spread. He drops a main hand sword, a ring, some cloth wrists, and a workshop key which opens up a secret entrance to the dungeon. Another machine to upgrade your punch card is here too. And you know, all this punch card collecting is really reminding me a lot of... Duke Nukem, I think. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I am all out of gum. Drop down onto one of these beams, and then drop down to this walkway so you can sneak by all the mobs and go into the large doorway. This hallway has dark iron agents who drop the grime-encrusted ring I was talking about earlier that you need to use in the Sparklematic machine. They also plant landmines on the ground, so probably don't stand in them. Blow it out your ass! Arcane nullifiers are also lurking around here, and they have the ability to reflect all magic damage from them and their allies. yippee ki -yay, mother Oh! Damn it. Be careful of the Alarmo bots that patrol around as well. If you don't kill them fast enough, they'll run around and aggro a bunch of mobs to you and you're going to wipe, so kill them as fast as possible. There's a pathway to the left here that you can take to get the last punch card for the Alliance. If you take the elevator and go right, you can kill the Crowd Pummeler, and he has an AoE, a Spell Interrupt, and a Cleave, so make sure your ranged are staying far, far away. And he drops Leather Boots and the Manual Crowd Pummeler, which is a must-have item for Feral Druids at Endgame. Head back to the hallway that had all the dwarves and open up the big-ass door at the end. Mechaneer Thermal Plug will be waiting for you, and he's a boss that has some actual fun mechanics. First off, he has a knockback, but in the room, there's also these big-ass heads that spit out bombs that explode. You can stop these bombs from spawning when you push the big red button when the head is glowing green. Assign one of your DPS to be on button-pressing duty while the rest of the group focuses the boss. This is probably one of my favorite dungeon bosses, and the fight is super climactic, and at the end it does get pretty hectic. But when you kill the boss, you do get some great rewards. He drops a two-handed axe, a ring, a shield, and my favorite cloth helmet just because of how stupid it really looks. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head. <laughs> Remember that ring I was talking about? Well, yeah, for Horde you need to turn it in to the guy that gave you Rig Wars, and for the Alliance, you need to turn it into Tavish Del Kissel in Ironforge. Well, that's Gnomergon. Now you get to enjoy all the loot that you got, and all the memories that you made. Holy shit, that was cheesy. Hi, thanks for watching my video. Huge thanks to Meldron for helping with a voice in this video, and they also have a good video about Gnomergon. They talk more about the patterns and the BOE drops in the dungeon, so if you want more of your Gnomergon fix, you can check their link in the description. I also have a side-by-side -side comparison video of the intro with the real one from Dexter's Laboratory, and you can find that in the description as well. Thanks a ton to people like Lagging Balls and Jude and Laster for supporting me on Patreon, and you can too if you check my link in the description. You can also follow me on Twitter, and maybe even consider liking and subscribing. Thank you all for your amazing support, and I will see you soon. Peace out, Girl Scout. Dexter, Dexter, French is the language of love. Oh, say it again, Dexter. We know vanilla means vanilla.